Alright, what's up guys? It's OG Woodsman. Uh I have a kind of a special show for you today. I usually try to stay out of politics and stay out of the house whenever I post a video, but um something I saw today on the news interested me. Um New York City. They are moving to ban bulletproof vest, body armor in general. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Let's talk about that. So, body armor. Can that hurt someone else? No, right? All that can do is protect your body. <laughs> I mean, obviously, body armor. All it can do is protect your body. How can that be illegal? Passive self-defense. Just not taking the bullet that is shot at you. They're trying to ban that. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. The three percenters, okay? Um, anybody that knows what the three percenters is, um, that's not going by the mainstream media, knows that three percenters is, we're the three percent of Americans that will stand up. When I say we, take that with a grain of salt. I will stand up for America to anyone any enemies foreign or domestic I do not go to meetings and have a well formed militia so to speak like the constitution says I should but I'm sure the government now would call that some sort of terrorism or something so I just find that very interesting that okay the three percenters right they um uh, there's ten national guardsmen that have been dismissed for being linked to the three percenters. The three percenters are the most patriotic group of men and women that you could possibly ask to be in the National Guard. I mean, the three percent of people that say, no matter if somebody's paying me a check or not, if any enemy, foreign or domestic, messes with America, we will stand up and take care of that problem. And you don't want those people in the military. I'm lost, guys. What's happening to America? You can't wear body armor in New York City, which is already a gun-free zone. On top of it already being a gun-free zone, they already have a law that states that if you are committing a crime and you're wearing a bulletproof vest, like that makes it enhanced. I don't know the exact law. I haven't done that much research on it. I just heard this today. Um, but I will say that Jonathan Jacobson, a Democrat, introduced the bill A-353 earlier this month to amend an existing law that bans the use of body armor by criminals committing a felony with a firearm. So there's already a law that bans the use of body armor by criminals committing a felony with a firearm. His bill would require New York residents to turn over their bulletproof vest to police who are exempt from the legislation within 15 days after the law takes effect. The Free Beacon first reported. Others whose jobs have been determined to require body armor by the Department of State would also be exempt. So people like me, people who just don't want to be shot, that's not an option. If we decide that a bullet's coming for you, you better take that bullet. That's crazy! I've never heard of stuff like this, man. Well, this is America. My America ain't like this. I'm, you know, I'm from Tennessee. I can't imagine they're trying to push a law like this in Tennessee. I just can't even imagine what would happen. I'm scared right now, guys. I don't know where this country's going right now. But there's some really crazy stuff going on right now. I'm not even going to talk about politics and the election. You, by this video, you probably know how I feel about all that. I just don't, man, I don't even know what to say, guys. It's a very interesting stuff happening. Pay attention. Don't pay attention to mainstream media. Look up stuff. Research. See what's going on in the world. Or at least in this country. The next four years is going to be interesting. Stay in the woods if possible, guys. I'm out.